and we'll get to see the Eagles' creative quarterback. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Eagles and the Saints just ahead on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They've got a full half season since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And you don't get on win streaks like this without your defense playing a big role. They've created quite an identity, and I know they want and expect this streak to get to nine. Meanwhile, for the visiting Saints, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception. Didn't have a touchdown to offset it. But the team found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. To the air is Rattler. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. But well, we knew coming in it was going to be a long afternoon if they weren't able to hold up against this pass rush, huh? What we didn't know was that protection was going to spring a leak on the first play from scrimmage. Got after him right out of the gate. So a tough early challenge here, second and long after the sack. From the shotgun, Rattler. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Here's Smith to return it. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by the former Michigan State QB, a starter here in his rookie campaign. And he's had a great season so far throwing the football. Very likely could go over 4,000 yards with a good performance here. And even in an age of passing first, that is no small accomplishment. Now a play fake here on first down. That is incomplete. Now you look at the Saints defense. This unit coming into this one ranked number 20 against the pass in the NFL. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL, but it shouldn't be hard to get excited about playing against them. The ultimate test going against that unit. And that's why you and I are excited to broadcast this game. Yes, sir. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun now on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And I'll tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw again. And oh, he caught it up. Wow, that ball is not free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. Fighting through, and he's got space. Touchdown! A great play there. Big touchdown number eight on the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. 
Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen. Ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense and Chris Alave getting set to take over once more. And he's right up there amongst the league's best when it comes to racking up receiving yards this season. And currently ranked in the top five as things stand here. From the gun, it's Carr. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. On play action, now Carr. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Chris Alave, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. You look at this Eagle defense. They were very good a week ago in the win over Minnesota. Yeah, they pitched a shutout in that game, didn't they? And those don't come around all that often in the NFL. The ability to keep someone out of the end zone and also from kicking one through the post. Well done. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll be fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. The numbers for him from a week ago. And you figure that he'll probably be a big factor in this one as well. No question about it, partner. We just saw right there. They want to get him the ball in space and see what he can do after the catch. Second and five. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. How big is that penalty? Wipe out the INT. You'd hate to be the teammate that caused that penalty and wiped out the interception. you got to face that guy in the locker room. Not a lot of fun for you, and you hurt your squad. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and three. Now the first carry here for the running back. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert with a gain of four. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. It's now third down and four. Now flags come in here. Look like one of the Eagles might have moved. After the false start, sets up a third and nine.
They'll look to throw here. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. So roughing the passer penalty and an automatic first down. And that's the mark of a bad team, partner, because that's an easily preventable penalty, but they just didn't take the proper steps to make it so. And that went to the right side and incomplete. The Eagles hit 12 and 1 now to start play. And they've gone a full couple of months now since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And we always talk about how a team has to play complementary football in order to really be a good touchdown. The Eagles. A 22-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to extend their lead. And that touchdown grab has officially solidified his historic season as record-breaking. He now has the new NFL standard for the most receiving touchdowns in a single season. Congratulations. Elliott on for the extra point. And that will make this a 16-point lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. The partner, just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season, the playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? I think the running back position, and I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league, but the teams that run the ball effectively, they're the ones that go deep into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, people have shied away from taking a runner early, but there's that special one there. I say they go get him. Card out of throw. Drives the left side and finds Alave. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A look at the numbers last week for Alave. Eight catches, 94 yards. And he's number six in the league in receiving yards, and he plays for his team first. But he also, in the back of his mind, he's thinking, if I can get into the top five, that might affect his bonus in his contract. Car going to throw. That's Alave bringing in another one. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. They get to him for a loss of four. And it brings up third down on the sack. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. Now Carr. That is caught. And some room to maneuver. And he'll get this inside of Philly's 20 before being taken down. 16-0. That's the score after one on EA Sports. The Saints with a football here to begin quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To throw his car. And he's going to go down. He sank back at the 24. Jalen Carter, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. To throw its car. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Car. And he's going to be 
taken down back around the 35 yard line. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. But Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they'll at least get on the board here, still trailing, but 16-3 to now. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. The Eagles offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's played well all year long as he enters the home stretch of the season as the NFL leader in touchdown passes. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. This will be caught by Brown. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Back to throw here. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Harrison. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Back to throw now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here's Carr. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. All right, partner, Deuce is wild on this sequence. Two plays, two sacks, and now two points thanks to the safety. Offensively, there just didn't seem to be much of a plan when they came out on attack. That let the defense create a little chaos up front and set up one of their guys to make a play and get through and record the sack. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. That's returnable now for Smith. The Eagles offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession, and he's been incredible all year long. The NFL's leader in passing yards as he just recently eclipsed the 4,000-yard mark on the season. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, and I like how you said when we mentioned it. In fact, I mentioned it, and I upset them a little bit, didn't I? Because they wanted no part of that one, and I was reminded, like a five-year-old, this is the NFL. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. They are guarding against the upset. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Back to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Second and three. Got him in. It's Brown. And he's going to have a first down on a gain of about ten, and that'll take us to the two-minute warning. Give him ten yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet, as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Back to throw again. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. From 13 yards out. And the Eagles are able to add on to their first half lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner. But with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And now their hill to climb has gotten taller. They had the safety last time they had the football. That led to the touchdown a moment ago. So that deficit going in the wrong direction as they try to right the ship here, first and 10. Into the hands of Perry, complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Here's Carr to throw. Finding Johnson on the out route. That's complete. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Throwing now is Carr. It's complete. It's Miller. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. On play action, it's Carr. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. But no surprise to see that one, partner. The league's number one defense coming through with a huge pick six. And it's plays like that one that have made them the most feared group to face this year. Offenses, they're trying to figure out how to work around them rather than work through them. 
big-time impact playmakers scattered throughout the unit on every level, and they can change a game at a moment's notice. Elliott good on the extra point, and the route is on here this first half. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Second and five. The tight end in motion right. Now a play fake, Carr. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now Carr. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, that's what you get, apparently, when you try to take on a Pro Bowl cornerback. I and mean, what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now, as this one's in the air. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. Now Carr to try again after the pick six. Completes it to Perry. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Carn out of throw. He gets this complete to Shahid. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Carr going to throw. Drives the left side and finds Alave. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Second down in the yard. Now Carr. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. 
It's a gain of two, and it will be the final act of this first half of play. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you two in a bit. For now, plenty of early game action around the NFL to get you caught up on, so let's get to it. We'll start with an NFC matchup. Tampa Bay on the road taking on Dallas, and that game is tied 10-all in the second quarter. From there, we head over to MetLife Stadium to check in on the Jets. And you can see they have the lead over the visiting Tennessee Titans. Kyler Murray responsible for the lone touchdown in the game thus far as he's thrown a touchdown pass. Finally, let's get right to the center of the U.S. map and check in on the Chiefs at home in Kansas City. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Devontae Smith, a touchdown reception. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half. Because this one's already close to being in the bag, if it's not already. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll make it second down. They're going to look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. You know, whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week and how he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. Throwing is Rattler. Throw left side taken in by Miller. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. On the counter, it's Miller. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. I mean, just looking at the scoreboard and where we're at in the third quarter, I, I don't know that it's going to matter much at this point, CD, but these small runs on the ground, they're not going to get it done. No, they're not, and right now, the guys stopping the run have been superior in this ball game, giving them no openings, no seams, and now they've got this game well in hand. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And they will remain well, well behind. 
And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best of the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. This is caught. It's Brown. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. He'll look to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they move this all the way down to the nine. The end result, 21 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Touchdown! A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Eagles have taken a six-touchdown lead. Well, partner, he has carried them in this ball game, throwing the football, all four touchdowns through the air, and that's really helped them get this nice lead. And I know it's a team game, but right now, he is truly the focal point. Every touchdown his team has so far has been the result of his arm. How about him throwing it downfield, creating big plays? I don't know how you slow him down unless you can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Out comes the Saints offensive unit and the NFC playoff race. Let's have a look at it. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of the team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. They'll fake the give, and here's Rattler. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. And Rattler, he'll throw again. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. He's been sensational all year. He threw touchdown pass number 45 the last time they had it. We'll see if he can build on that number here. It's first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. 
And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. That is caught. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Here's a give up the middle. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second and three. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Back to throw now on first down. And his pass incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Back to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. They'll look to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Again, he'll drop to throw. Touchdown, Eagles! A great play there. His third touchdown of the game, number 14 on the year. And the Eagles add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Elliott Good with a PAT. Man, this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Pitch and catch to Moreau, the tight end. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Off the play fake, it's Rattler. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sideline, a rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. 
And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout, but you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. On first down, Shipley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they'll come up second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Shipley. And he gets it down to the 32. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. Here's second and seven. Brings up second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And Charles, they're still airing it out at this point despite that huge lead. And some people may be saying, well, why are they throwing the football? These guys, I guess, are just padding their stats at this point. Yeah, there are a lot of big grins, I think, from people in their families, from themselves. You're exactly right. Pad the stats when you get an opportunity. It'll certainly help you come contract time. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll look to throw here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. Well, they take a chance there on fourth and one, but it's a gain of three and a new set of downs. Back to throw again. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively. That's second down. They'll set up to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. They'll set up a throw. And it's caught. Touchdown! Dallas Goddard, a five-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are on their way to a 13th win on the year as they add on to their lead. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed watching their execution throughout this contest. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over. And they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Now a second and ten. They'll throw. Here's Rattler. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. 
And this offense on third down today, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. Here it's third and three. On play action, Rattler. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Well, my goodness, CD. I mean, this defense just continuing to dominate. They're really dominating on both sides of the ball, but for the defense, that's now three interceptions for them here in this ball game. And what a great teaching tape for this defensive coordinator, right? When they go back and review this game, what does he always tell us that he preaches to his team? We're going to lead the league in effort. Well, they're doing that in this game as well as making big plays. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. He had his eyes on the end zone once he hit the secondary, but they're finally able to slow him down. Yeah, and I've got to look at this one from the defensive point of view. You just mentioned finally able to slow him down. They've got to figure out a way to make that at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage because once he gets through he's shredding them running game working they'll stick with it on first down and they are going to score again yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven eight nine yard line and you start thinking maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range so this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Now the Saints coming back out ready to go for this next drive. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. It gets this complete to Shahid. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Here's Rattler. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. To the air is Rattler. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Rattler working out of the gun. Over the middle complete. That's Perry. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 40. A gain there of 21 yards. First down, Saints. Play action. Now Rattler. Downfield and he's got Olave. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown, but they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. Extra point attempt to come here. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was Chris Alave who finished things off with a touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The 
A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. CD, I mean, they have just been scoring at will. It's been score after score after score. And a lot of times we use the term blowout for a lopsided ballgame. And this has kind of gone past that. We're, I think we're in historic territory right now. You nailed it. Historic territory. Perfect phrase for what we are watching. If this were a movie, what kind of rating would we put on it? Who would you allow to watch what we're watching right now? Let's hope this one gets over fast because this game well decided a long time ago. Davis Price up the middle. Down the sideline he goes. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Saints 14 yard line. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for Philadelphia, they continue to make their case as a Super Bowl favorite as they move to 13-1. and one. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for New Orleans, they've plummeted now to 3-11. and 11, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Thanks for tuning in.